Hi guys, today I am here to discuss with you all a new work culture which is going to imposed very soon. This news I heard recently. So I thought to let's just discuss with you people what exactly this uh, rules is as per the new labor code, as per the new labor law, what exactly this rule is. Like only we have to work four days, three days will get off. Is this really going to happen? I don't know. But this rule is actually about to rule out. I'm not sure when some people are telling from August some people are telling from September I don't know when exactly it is going to rule out but soon this rule is going to apply in India also almost in many countries like Britain Spain in these countries already this rule is already applied already they have started working so it is going to roll out soon in India also we don't know when but it will happen so Today I am here with a video. My name is Nazia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, then a very warm welcome to you all. In this channel, we will make videos on career related topics. If you are really interested to watch this, this kind of videos, then please go and subscribe to my channel. And also, if, if you want to get notified for my any latest videos, then please enable that bell icon also. You will get the notification whenever I upload any new video in future. Okay. If you are my old subscriber, then welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's start with the video now. See, uh, recently I got to know that office culture is going to change but office cultures is already changed from past two years from past two years we have already seen a drastic change in the office culture once covid came into picture our lives has been changed drastically correct businesses and offices are changed to online and work from home became normal nowadays people are wanted to do work from home Many of you people already told when I uploaded my video on work from home policy what exactly the late, uh, what exactly the changes is going to happen work from home is important or not for this I have already uploaded the video on that I have seen so many of the comments from you people saying that we want work from home only we don't want to come to office we are doing the work from home itself better than what we were doing in the offices you people were telling me in my comment section if you want you go and check that video also in the comments also there were some huge comments saying that people wants to work from home only don't want to come to office that's correct most of the people prefer work from home only because that is that is their comfort zone employees is also thinking that working from home is not a bad option because employees are working anyways whether they are coming to offices or they are in their hometowns or they are working from their homes, they are doing their work. It is not like they are not delivering the work properly. It is they are doing their work better than what they were doing from the offices. Globally, many firms are practicing this work from home and many of the companies in India also not telling their employees to come to office. They are asking to do work from home or at least do it in a hybrid model like two or three days you have to visit to office. Two, three days you have to do work from home like that it is okay this is not our topic okay let's just come to the topic now we don't want to deviate from our topic so let's just concentrate on our topic three days off in a week so let's just discuss on this in today's life also most of the people is doing six day office and only one day off and many people are working all the seven days few people are working six days people are working seven days people are working only five days but most of the MNCs will make two days off in a week correct that means in a week you have to work only 42 hours but as per this rule whatever the new rule new labor codes whatever is their new labor law whatever is telling you have to work only four days and you will get three days off sounds interesting so let's just discuss what these rules are first of all there are four days working only and three days you will be getting off and the next rule is whatever the basic salary you are getting right that should be minimum 50% of your CTC. Let's say you are getting 10 lakh CTC now. After applying this rule, once this rule is rolled out, you have to make sure that your basic pay is 50% of your CTC. That means 10 lakh CTC is there, 5 lakh should be your basic pay. That should be compulsorily the employer have to make it nowadays what is happening and what employers is doing is to save your tax what they'll do is 40 percent they'll make the basic pay and rest they'll distribute for lta some ad hoc alliance special alliance like that they will distribute it because of which you can save your tax also the pf whatever the pf is detecting raw whatever the pf is deducting that will get reduced see what will happen is some pf amount basic pay 40 percent if they do it if the employer allocate you the 50 40 percent of basic pay that means that 
for that 12 percent you have to do the pf deduction about this whatever the salary structure how to uh, calculate your uh, actual salary and whatever the components is there that already have uploaded the video on this with detailed information if you want go and check that video i'll put that videos in the description box whatever the topic i'm discussing today if anything if any videos is related to that which i have already uploaded i'll put those links in the description box please go and check that out okay okay so what the 40 percent of basic pay is there on that 12 percent is the pf okay 12 percent of basic pay is your pf that you also contribute that your employers also contribute right there now what will happen is if your basic pay become 50 percent that means 12 percent of that 50 percent will become more right your pf will become more but in hand salary will become less when this rule roll out got my point okay when the basic pay increase the times the gratuity and the uh, pf will get increase for sure also the earned leaves will become more correct why exactly this rule is came to existence what is the reason behind applying this rule because in many countries this rule is already applied and there they have seen the productivity see in norway people will work only for 27 hours in a week here we are working 42 hours in a week correct but in norway research says only 27 hours people are working and the productivity as compared to our india in norway the productivity is more so people are thinking like if we reduce the working hours might be employees are getting very stressed and they are not giving their 100 percent might be if we reduce that hours working hours might be the employees will give their 100% and will get the productivity because of that this rule is about to come but we don't know when it is going to rule out okay but the recent report of government what they are telling is if this rules comes into existence social security will be better industrial relationships will be better and along with that occupation safety health and working condition will be better that is what likely to be implemented in the upcoming days so let's just see what exactly the advantages and disadvantages that is what exactly the pros and cons when pros is there there will be some cons also which will come along with that right so let's just discuss on that what exactly the pros are first is the pf and gratuity whatever you are getting that will get increased of course right second thing is you will get three days off in a week sounds good right listen to this word three days off in a week especially for me it's make me really happy at least i can make more videos for you guys if i get three days off the third thing is earned leaves will be more what the point is whenever you get hired to some new company right so the new hire leave of absence reduced to 180 days from 240 days okay that is also a good benefit for the employees not the employers for the employees so fifth thing is once you leave the company let's say you are going to leave the company because of any reason irrespective of any reason you are leaving the company the full and settle the full and final settlement will be done after one or two months only right but that will not happen now if these rules are rolled out then it will be like only within two working days your full and final settlement should be done no dues should be pending from with the employers irrespective of any reason whether you are resigning because of anything because of your contract is uh, terminating or you are resigning by yourself whatever the reason it is within two working days employer has to finalize your settlement this is also sounds really really good for the employees so these are all the advantages benefits or pros whatever you say so let's just discuss on the disadvantages demerits what exactly it is see when they are telling three weeks off that means every day you are working eight or nine hours usually right in the private sector or in the government sector you are working only eight to nine hours but once this role comes into picture then you have to work 12 hours a day you are getting my point you have to work for 12 hours per day but not to worry you will get break after every five hours you should not be working like continuously you have to work you will get the break after every five hours but you have to work for 12 hours in a day that is one disadvantage and the next thing is your in-hand salary will get reduced 
because when the basic pay will become 50 percent that means you will get more pf and more gratuity but your enhanced salary whatever you are getting that will get reduced right if you calculate that if your basic pay will become 50 percent that means you have to pay the tax also more tax basic pay is 100 percent taxable you can't save tax on basic pay okay you have to pay the tax more and you will get enhanced salary less as compared to now whatever you are getting okay your enhanced salary will get reduced because your basic pay is becoming 50 percent on a personal note some disadvantages may come like three days off means we will get bored sometimes what will happen is initially we will enjoy the days holidays we will enjoy it but after like in a long run i don't think we'll enjoy it it will get bored but if you're doing anything like how i'm doing along with my job i'm doing youtube also for people like me it will be good but for people like only they are working in uh, offices and don't they don't have any other work apart from this only the thing is they can spend with their family then it is fine if they don't have anything to do they have to spend by watching movies or mobiles only then for them it will get bored sometimes that's what i feel is but it is not that big disadvantage but it is fine and one more thing is expenditure will become more whenever we'll get week time off what we'll do we'll go for shopping we'll go for uh, outside restaurants to have the food expenditure will become more right so that's what i feel is i don't know what you guys feel do let me in the comment section what exactly the excitement ratio after listening to this new labor course okay do please do let me know without fail and if you found this video informative what do you have to do give it a thumbs up okay and please go and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet I know my vlogging channel is also there. Please go and subscribe to that channel as well. I, that channel link I'll provide it in the description box or somewhere in the i button I'll put it. And if you want to have any one to one communication, if you want to know anything from my side, if you need any help, please follow me on Instagram and please reach out to me there. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.